The 59-year-old former magician's assistant regularly teases her listeners with hilarious confessions on a Sunday morning. Last weekend, she appeared to be battling with the British heat wave as she arrived to take over from Paul Koya, who hosts the show before hers. Here's the lovely Debbie McGee, he introduced her, at which point the Strictly Come Dancing finalist announced, the lovely Phil Kennedy warned me that there was no air conditioning in my studio. So if I needed to come in in my shorts I could. Making a flirtatious revelation, Paul replied, I think he had a vested interest in saying that to you, my dear wasn't that kind of him? She added, Debbie could be heard sounding flustered as she giggled at his comment. Opting not to address his remark, she simply laughed, have a great day Paul. Debbie, who was married to Paul Daniels up until his death in 2016, recently admitted the magician taught her to be naughty in a mischievous divulgence. During an appearance on My Teenage Diary, hosted by Rufus Hound, she read excerpts from her journals as a youngster. Paul and Debbie tired the nod in 1988 after they met when she began working as his assistant in his shows. There was the Dolly Bird stereotype, Rufus, 39, said, noting some people think the assistants are there to distract and look pretty. Meanwhile, you're having to do 2,000 things at once, often, he added. HMM, Debbie agreed. I don't worry about doing things wrong now. And Paul taught me that really. He believed in just be yourself. I'd been brought up to be so well behaved and I'm really not. She giggled and so he taught me to be naughty. Paul tragically d two years ago, just weeks after being diagnosed with a brain tumor. Later in the chat with Rufus, Debbie read out segments from her diary about her childhood sweetheart named Matt. Feelings are weird. She read out at one point, before pausing to warn listeners, now, this is very much a teenage point, this. Speaking her younger self again, she continued, Matt hasn't phoned all week, longest ever he has left it. Made myself focus on school, got all my stuff out for tomorrow. Quizzed about the mysteries Matt, she explained, Matt was my childhood sweetheart. She even revealed she had thought Matt was the man she would end up marrying.